Hey everybody, I am getting lunch ready and I thought that I would show you how I'm slicing, I don't know if you see them, my green beans. So I have a bunch of green beans, green beans are coming off the fields right now and they're in plentiful. I have had these green beans probably since the weekend and they're starting to go a little brown on me so I've got to get them used. So I don't know if you've ever used green beans in a salad of any kind but I love using green beans in a salad. So I'm gonna show you how I'm cutting these really tiny, but there's different, there's different ways of cutting your green beans. And uh, you can blanch them and throw them in the freezer if you want. You can do pickling with them. There's lots of different ways to do your beans up. So pickling would be awesome because then you can put them on your Caesars, right? So welcome, I'm Denise Thibodeau and uh, you're on my VIP page and I'm really excited that, to be serving you guys as I always am. So today I'm going to show you green beans and how I cut them. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. So I hope you see that. I always use my Epicure cutting board. I'm going to be using our Prep Pro, uh, not the paring knife, this is a chef knife. It's a little bit bigger and I like that. So what I'm doing is I had prepped these on Sunday and I had taken off the ends and we were using them as dips for a little party I had, a social distancing party and so I still have lots of green beans but they're starting to go so I'm going to make actually a tuna Asian salad for lunch. So I'm going to show you how I cut my beans and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to do the Asian tuna salad because I'm going to turn tuna uh, I'm going to show you different ways of eating tuna instead of the standard tuna sandwich. And you're going to love tuna by the time you're done. So, green beans. You grab your green beans. And what I do is I literally take my knife. Do you guys see this? I'll do it back here. And I tap my green beans so that I can get all the bean heads all at the same level. And I'm going to cut the ends off and discard those. Okay? So, fast and easy. Turn your beans completely around. I know this might sound really weird, but some people, I'm saving, this is a really good tip to save you time. And then do another batch, cut the ends off, get rid of all this stuff that's gone brown on me. See, they've gone brown, so they're not good. So then what I do is I want these tiny little bites for a salad, just tiny, tiny little beans. So I'm gonna put them in a little hole and put my finger around that turn them and then I'm just taking my knife and slicing it coming down and slicing these green beans down and I'm getting nice little chunks for my salad instead of a green leaf salad it's going to be mostly all green beans in this salad today so it's going to be really awesome okay I'll do another batch so you see that happening do you guys have any questions hi Nicole hi Jennifer and then this is our cutting mats, right? From Epicure. You can tell I use it a lot because it's really scored. But I love this because look what I can do. These are all little bits, right? Just full and pour. All right. So then I'm just going to do some more. So again, grab a stack. Might as well finish all these. And you can easily do this too when you're canning so you're not individually working with them because individually working with them is just a pain, right? So again, I get my knife, I'll move this out of the way, get one end up together, chop them. And what's beautiful about the pair, this ceramic knife, right, they're not going to go brown on you. So I didn't use a ceramic knife on Sunday, I used a metal knife, which I wasn't smart. But it's been Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we're Wednesday, so that's four days. So the brown is not really much. Okay, and then I'm coming down. And I'm going to do my little chunks. You can hear the snaps of the black of the beans. Oh, I love, I really, really like beans. If you've never tried beans in um, potato salad, you can throw these in the steamer and cook them up for like two, two minutes. And then make your potato salad like I've shown you guys to do. And you add green beans to your potato salad, a warm potato salad with green beans. It's amazing. It's the bomb. It's the bomb. Okay, so that's how easy it is to make green beans in small little chunks for you guys. All right? So 
Do I keep going and show you the Asian salad or come back and show you how to do that? I'm going to cut this video. All right, so I'll come back and I'll show you how to make an Asian tuna salad for lunch that will just like spin your head because it's so awesome. Okay, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Bye guys.